This segment brought to you by Kansas Farm Bureau, the voice of agriculture. To join today or more information, go to kfb.org or find us on Facebook and Twitter. Welcome back to Farm Factor and the Kansas Farm Bureau update. AFBF, along with U.S. House representatives, is urging the administration to remain firm in its efforts to see China establish a transparent, predictable, and practical approach to approving biotechnology trades for import. Next month, the U.S.-China Joint Commission on Commerce and Trade will meet and AFBF is hopeful biotech approvals will top the agenda. AFBF economist Veronica Nye says stable regulations from China would benefit U.S. agriculture. In 2015, China purchased 20 point $3 billion worth of American ag products. Roughly 54% of that were from biotech-derived plant products. So clearly market access for this portion of U.S. ag exports is important and unfortunately a bit fragile due to China's biotechnology regulatory regime. She says China's regulatory approval process is not synchronized with the rest of the world and many products that have received scientific approval in China are stalled in the final approval phase. To get a product approved in China, it already has to be approved in the United States and another major trading partner. That obviously causes delays in being able to ship approved U.S. products to the Chinese market. But unfortunately, even on top of that asynchrony, at best, China's approval process is now taking four years to complete. She says the need for a streamlined biotech process in China is even more critical this year with a bumper crop in the states. Buyers in China want to purchase high-quality U.S. biotech crop. They've shown that year after year with increasing purchases. So we want to make sure that the U.S. government and the Chinese government are all on the same page to make sure that all of that good quality crop is so bountiful this year, can find a home in different export markets, including China. Michael Clements, Washington. Come back after the break for Plain Talk with Kyle and Dwayne. Kansas Farm Bureau, the voice of agriculture, represents grassroots agriculture. The state's largest and most powerful farm organization stands up for its members through leadership development, agriculture education, legal defense, environmental advocacy, farm safety, and risk management. Members also enjoy money-saving benefits. To join our organization today or to learn more, go to www.kfb.org or find us on Facebook and Twitter. <laughs> 